it's the Games and Graps podcast. This week, we're back to talk about the latest gaming news, Finn's massive backlog, and discuss the build to WrestleMania. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 91 of the Games and Graps podcast. I'm Sonny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, welcome back. I'm back. In the land of the living. Thank you, thank you. Are you okay? Uh, I'm okay, yes. Yeah. Um, still alive, just barely. Um, my brain exploded and I died. Mm. Uh, rip. Rip, yes. And I had to go on an epic quest to recover my seven broken pieces of my brain. Mm. Uh, and then I had to fight an evil wizard to uh, get my brain back in my head. Uh, but after that, I was fine, so it's all good. Excellent. Yes. Well, it's great to have you back. <laughs> thank you. Um, I've been trying to keep busy in your absence. Oh, yes. Trying to keep so notice. social media <laughs> and podcasts coming to our feed. Excellent. And, but I'm, this is my favourite thing to do. Absolutely. Yes, no matter too. what I do, no matter who I get to interview or whatever I get to do sort of outside of this, this will always be my favourite thing to do. Yes, me too. Awesome. Um, so Good I'm, stuff. I'm glad that we're back doing it. Yes, me too. Yeah. Happy. Me too. Awesome. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping before we uh, crack on with the actual podcast. Okay, okay. Uh, the video version of this uh, will now be on Turnbuckle TV. Yeah. Okay, so if you search for Games and Graps on TurnbuckleTV.com, um, you will find the weekly episode of the video podcast. Nice. Um, there will still be a version on YouTube, but it'll be the podcast with a static image in the background. Yeah. We're trying to keep things exclusive. We're trying to keep our, sweet. our, our people happy. <laughs> yes, the sweet, tasty exclusives. That's right. Mm. Um, speaking of Turnbuckle TV, we do have uh, two subscriptions to give away. Just head over to our Twitter and uh, retweet the tweet that I put out regarding the giveaway. Then, um, yeah, winners will be picked soon. Yes. And you can and see all sorts of cool content on there. It's very cool. I highly recommend uh, looking it up. It's very cool. It is very, very cool. Well, here's a pretty sweet commentary on uh, DKW. Yeah, there's some pretty good commentary on there. Some, <laughs> some dude, he's, yeah, he's really, good. really talented. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a new up-and-comer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a really great website. Uh, so much great content on there. New stuff being added all the time by loads of different companies. Very cool. So uh, there you go, guys. There's your plug for the week. Plug. Cheap plug. <laughs> uh, Finn, uh, what have you been playing in since I last saw you, which was a while ago now? It was a while ago, yes. Quite a few things. Um, so uh, Resident Evil 2 was... Nude mods or no? Uh, well, I mean... No, of course not, no. No? <laughs> I've got nude mods, what's that? I didn't even... <clears throat> oh, right, yeah. Um, but yeah, just a great game. Um, it's so good. It's one of my favourite games of all time, uh, back on PS1. Played it so much as a kid. And uh, yeah, it's, it's still amazing. And it's one of the best remakes ever, I think. I think it's one of the best remakes ever. Yeah, it's so good. Um, I played it a few times. Got the band trophy. Ting. Congratulations! Thank oh, you. Wait, round of applause. Oh yeah. Put my coffee down and we'll. Uh... <laughs> yay! Thank you. Um, yes. So did that. Uh, played through on hardcore mode first time through, which is the thing. Uh, but it's the best way to play it, in my opinion. It's very cool. No, it's um, not. Yes, it is. No. Yes. It isn't the best way to play through <laughs> it. It's the hardest it's... way to play through it. Which is the best way? Hardest. Hard equals good. That's what she said. That's what she said, yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Um, but yeah, so good. Um, you had to see my first three parts of me playing it on Twitch slash YouTube. It's still uh, there? It's still there, yeah. On Twitch? Uh, it should be on YouTube at least. You put it on YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Okay, right. I think. Yeah, but it's on YouTube. Um, but yeah, such a cool game. Um, well, just finished playing uh, Devil May Cry 5, speaking of Capcom. Well, you finished it? Uh, yeah, finished the uh, main story. Jeez, that was... Just, it's only been out a week, hasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, I've lasted through it. <laughs> How long is it? Uh, it's not that long, probably about uh, eight, nine, ten hours. Oh, really? It. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's manageable. Yeah, definitely. I guess there is only so much of that style of game you can play. Pretty much, yeah. It's like the the old God of War games. Sometimes, like, I mean, they're great. Oh yeah. But sometimes a hack and slash can outstay its welcome <laughs> hey. because it's a hack and slash basically. <laughs> yeah. This, go on. So, I say, this is one of the best. Uh, uh, Devil May Cry games as well, in my opinion. Uh, three characters, players. You've got Dante, you've got Nero from 4, and you got a new guy called V. Uh, all of them play, all of them are super unique and are really, really fun to play. Uh, and yeah, it's such a good game. Um, I've only played the very beginning. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, um, where the two, where V and Nero mm-hmm. go to attempt to save Dante. This is the very beginning, so it's yeah, yeah. not very spoilery. Yeah. Um, where he's fighting that, the giant thing, and then it sort of takes over the city and starts killing people yeah uh, I've, I've only played that very small amount of it but even just from that um, I mean it's gorgeous uh, the, oh, yeah. the so 4k good. and HDR do it um, immense amount of favours it's really really cool yeah is it the uh, RE engine same as uh, Resident Evil 2 yes it does and you can tell as well oh yeah like, it's weird that you can't tell but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah it's it's just so good I think you can tell because of the way the characters um, look 
and talk. It's, it looks like Resident Evil 7. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's really, really cool so far, but I, I do need to get into it. So stylish. Um, Very stylish. <laughs> Very cool. Um, yeah, I played it on Devil Hunter first time through, then went back on human, easy mode, uh, to mob up collectibles and get some S ranks. Uh, See, that's a yeah. mistake I made. Oh, yeah. I, I picked human because I didn't know it was easy mode because obviously it doesn't, ex- doesn't really explain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to start it again because obviously I've only played a little bit and do it on Devil Hunter, yeah. Demon Hunter, or whatever it is. Yeah, I would recommend doing that because I went back, right back through on a human mode, even though it was powered up more than usual because I played it on already. Even that, it was like super easy. I was like, in things like two hits, just like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, what, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, these guys aren't even attacking. Yeah, yeah. I have to change this, I think. Yeah, human mode is basically baby mode. Okay. <laughs> Baby mode for news. Noted. <laughs> I wish it said that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been, would have been nice, a bit more clearer. But uh, yeah, that one's ready to go. Also, like once you beat that one, there's like uh, I think the next one's Sun of Spider mode, and then after that, Dante must die mode, and then if you beat that is Heaven or Hell mode, and then after that is Hell and Hell mode, which is basically impossible mode. Uh, so Heaven and Hell mode is everything dies one hit, including you. Uh, hell and Hell mode is you die one hit, but enemies are as tough as they are on Dante must die mode. Well, why is that fun? <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a challenge. I guess people like the challenge. Um, I will go through it again on Police and the Spider. And maybe Dante must, Dante must die. Um, but I'm not going to touch Hell and Hell, Hell and Hell mode because Jesus Christ. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it? Was it? Platinum is basically unachievable because to get the platinum, you need to get S ranks on every mission on every difficulty, including Hell and Hell. Right. Which is like, yeah, no. I'm not gonna Somebody's do that. definitely going to get it. But oh, that people really is have ridiculous. it. Yeah, there are people out there who have it already. Like, how have you done this? It's no, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they also don't sleep or go outside. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, seems to seem like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but a great game, great game. Congratulations again. if you have got it. I'm oh, not yeah, slating you or anything. No, of course not. Um, yeah, it's what I've been playing. Also, recently started uh, a game called The American Dream on PlayStation VR. Which so, is... so that's a VR game about uh, the late great Dusty Rhodes, correct? Of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, no. It's uh, it's a game about uh, all the best, all the things uh, America, uh, America loves, which is of course guns. <laughs> uh, is uh, this made by an American company? Um, I don't know guns, really. I'm not sure they're American. But uh, yeah, everything everything is guns. Everything is done with guns, including like uh, at one point we all like flipping burgers and this, you flip burgers by shooting them. Um, <laughs> you get some candy floss at one point, you like put it on the end of a gun and it eats off the gun. Um, it, it's just guns. guns yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the, the, the box <laughs> for it now and it's like a family around a barbecue and the, the mother... Yeah, there you go. The mother has a shotgun and the dog has got its paw on a pistol. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that pretty much tells you what kind of game it's going to be fresh out the gate. But um, it's, I mean, it looks fun. I'm definitely going to sort of play through it when you've done. Yeah, it's amazing. What's well, one of the bullet points on the back of the box just says bullets. Literally, oh, really? Literally just says bullets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so good. So funny. Uh, highly recommended. We've got VR. Um, Achievable Platinum, do we think? I think so, yeah. It's easily achievable. I think a lot of VR games do actually have easy Platinum. So, I mean, yeah. I think, like, sort of four or five of the Platinums I do actually have are from VR games. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Like Job Simulator and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Job Simulator's really good as well. That's really funny. Um, There's a Vacation Simulator coming out. Have really? it? It's by the same oh, I have actually, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. really good. Uh, so, I'm all over that. I love, oh, yeah. I love Job Simulator. It's <laughs> so good. It's so good. Oh, man. Um, what else am I playing? Um, I started Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, I will be going back into that very soon. I've got a week of work now, so I'm going to hammer Kingdom Hearts 3 and try and get through it. Because uh, I want that to be platinum number 100. Oh, okay. Yeah, so at 98. Are you going to wait for the grand tour? Um, yeah, so I think in American Dream, I might do American Dream first and then just hold on grand tour until after I don't get him out. Because there isn't going to be, there can't be that many more left now for the grand tour. I think there's two more episodes. Two more. Yeah, yeah, two more weeks. I think I can knock out American Dream and get him out in two weeks, maybe. I think maybe. American Dream won't take you long at all. VR games yeah. don't tend to be very long. No, I think it's quite short, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's looking forward to that. Um, yeah, it's been on the Grand Tour game. It's much better than it should be, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, we talked about this before, didn't we? But yeah. you're right, it is better. I mean, I haven't played it for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah that's Because uh, I've just been so busy doing stuff. But um, it is way better than it has any right to be. Yeah. It's like, it's not amazing by any, by any no, means, it but isn't. it's very basic, but it is fun. You're playing through the show, playing through like, like various scenarios they go through. Yeah. And it's fun. It's quite unique in that sense, to be honest. Yeah, the fact is, that yeah. you do get to do the stuff they um, do on the TV show, but they've made it fun for a game yeah exactly um, and I think oh. that's really cool yeah uh, me too it's, and it is super unique yeah it's only like 11 quid so yeah it's really cheap yeah and I, I think they out. will be paid DLC in the oh, yeah. future for season 1 and 2 maybe maybe um, once maybe. season 3 <clears throat> is sort of out of the way and done I think because there's only like one episode of each yeah yeah so, so I far. think they'll add the other episodes as well yeah Oh, that doesn't surprise me. That'd be cool. Yeah, and I'd be fine with that. Even if you charge for it, 11 quid is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Um, what's another game we've been playing uh, recently is uh, Yoshi's Crafted World on Switch. Oh, have you bought that, have you? Yeah, yeah, it's adorable. Really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even like play a... the demo, actually. I have got <laughs> it on my Switch to play, but I haven't played it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to check it out. It's, it's very cute. Very, just nice, nice game just to de-stress and just chill out and play Yoshi. So was it like a platformer? Yeah, it's just a platformer, platform, basically. In the same vein as Little Big Planet? Um, kind of. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It's like classic Yoshi games. We've played Yoshi game before, like uh, My World 2 on SNES. It's basically that. But <laughs> you're enough. to play Yoshi and it's super cute and adorable. Cool. It um, looked good. Yeah, it's really good. Recommended. And uh, that's about it, I think. Cool. Uh, how are you? What have you been up to? Uh, I've been playing a lot. Um, I've been playing uh, Anthem. Ah, yes. Uh, I really like it myself. Cool. Uh, I, th- I think it's good. I like a loot shooter anyway. I, I do. So it's definitely my kind of game. Oh, yeah. But I just like... I don't know, people hate on it, and I'm not sure why. I think it's an EA thing. I think people just like to rip on EA. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Um, and that's if that's their prerogative, so be it. But they're really missing out on a game that, you know, it isn't perfect by any stretch. I'm not saying it's like the greatest loot shooter ever made, oh, yeah. because it isn't. <laughs> but it is good. Um, I like the, the suit. Uh, it's like very sort of Iron Man-y. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that you can like design it and stuff like that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the combat is... As it should be, uh, it works very well. The flying's very cool. The characters have a lot of personality, which I've got a lot of time for because it That's makes cool. the the missions, a, you know, because often loot shooters they are very samey. Like it is shooting and picking things up. That is it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay, and then this is That's no different. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's just like Destiny. Yeah. Like shoot stuff, put your ghost somewhere, shoot more stuff. <laughs> the mission is over. Yeah, yeah. And this That's is. Right. Basically the same yeah. as that. That's fair. Uh, but it's it's fun. Uh, the characters that interact with you, like I said, they do have a lot of personality and um, it's funny as well. And it's not doesn't take itself completely seriously. And I think it's a lot of fun. And it, it's... I don't, I don't know. I mean, people who are playing it are really enjoying it. Uh, the reviewers panned it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So. It's a shame. I, I played it like, briefly, but it seemed right. When I yeah, played we it. played a bit together, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We might jump back on it at some point if we have a somewhat backlog, which was never. No, never, yeah. <laughs> um, so on the flip side of that, I've been playing The Division 2. Ah, oh, nice. Which does take itself incredibly seriously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do think it's good. Um, it's more of the same. It is basically The Division, but in Washington, D.C. and not New York City. Fair play. Uh, but it is good. It is. Um, the AI is a little dumb, <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. Again, it's very much shoot stuff, press a button, wait for that stuff to be done, Pick up the gear that you they that people drop. Uh, go back to base, do some stuff, and mission over. Fair play. Um, it's a loot shooter, and it's, yeah, <laughs> they're all very much alike. Yeah, uh, in different settings, and it's fine. The division is really good, and mm. you know it's strange to me, really. I mean, I mean, yes, Anthem does have bugs, um, but the 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 division two isn't perfect either. I don't think, but the division two has been rated a lot higher than Anthem. And yeah, people, people again, love to too. Again, I, I do think this is an, an EA hate type thing. Maybe. Uh, you know, people can come at me and say I'm wrong, <laughs> and that's fine. But to me, they're both very similar games, just in different settings. Uh, combat in The Division 2, great. Combat in Anthem, great. Setting in Anthem, cool. Um, setting in The Division 2, also cool. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> for me, I actually enjoy Anthem more. Yeah, that's fair. But I don't dislike the division two i like both yeah yeah and it's fine to like both it's just fine. just to just so you know it's fine to like both you, you can like both you can dislike both it's fine yeah <laughs> it's all fine um i've been playing a lot of football manager on switch oh yeah now i made the the mistake of buying football manager on switch that was, that was mistake number one um mistake number two is i um i had tuesday off uh because i was having some like sofas delivered like a grown-up Ooh, and, well uh, mm. <laughs> and i i had i had stuff i needed to do Basically, I, yeah. I, I had like a day's worth of commentary that I needed to do and so a, a few other bits. And I was like, yeah, I'll get this done today. Didn't do it. <laughs> I just lay there on the, <laughs> like waiting for the sofas to be delivered on the sofa, playing football manager, like while my switch was docked and on the TV. And four nice. hours went by. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, this is what I've been doing all day. <laughs> I've done nothing productive. Yes, I know everything. <laughs> um, there. So yeah, that's what. I'm, so that, that's that really. I've been <laughs> a lot of Football Manager, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, but it's super addictive. It's Football Manager basically. Yeah, you, you you can't go in depth with it because manage footballs. It's you, you literally manage a football team. Me, obviously, I've gone for Man United because. I don't Did you find Manchester clearly? 
Yep, you can tell by my accent that I am <laughs> definitely from Manchester. Yes, that's how yeah. football works, right? You support the team that you're from. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. How should be? Yeah, yeah. You, don't, <laughs> you can't support Hinkley United. I don't <laughs> know if they're even a team anymore. That's a drug. Just ask me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I don't even know why. I even asked. <laughs> um, I briefly played Assassin's Creed Three Remastered. Ooh, nice. And it's it's cool to be honest. I mean, um, to me, that's how Assassin's Creed should be. Yeah, I, I love the new ones. I think they're really good. I like well, I like Odyssey. Um, I couldn't get into Origins as much, but I would like to go back and revisit it because I think um, my opinion is invalid because I didn't play enough of it because I do <clears throat> want to play it. Yeah, so yeah. I, you know, me too. Um, Maybe. But to me, um, this is what Assassin's Creed is about. Like uh, an old city. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, it's so difficult to explain. Yeah, it's classic, but, classic Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah. But I think that's how Assassin's Creed should be. Yeah, me too. To me, at least. Yeah, uh, I'm obviously all for revolution in games, and that's fine. Oh, of course. But uh, the combat's good. Um, you know, the environments are really good. The only thing that lets it down a little bit are the character models. Not that that has ever been Assassin's Creed's yeah. strong suit, yeah. but um, the characters look like Morph. <laughs> fair play. Basically, it's, they, look, they do look like Morph and his, his friend. Yeah, that's fair. To be fair, if they, if they had to, wanted to redo the character models, that would take a lot more time. Oh, yeah, I mean, remaster. it's not rebuilt from the ground up. Yeah, of course not, yeah. Never, What's the point in doing that? Yeah, of course not. No um, but yeah, so Tony Hart designed the characters, <laughs> uh, so that's why Morph and his friend have made it into Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And uh, another game that I've been putting a lot of time into is Far Cry New Dawn. Nice. It that is very cool. awesome. It looks very oh, cool. Oh, my God, it's good. Nice. Uh, for me, it's the best Far Cry game. Nice. High praise. But I think it's made, made for idiots like me. <laughs> Fair. Uh, it's, <laughs> because it's like it, you can play through it like the main story in like fifteen hours. Oh, yeah. That is a that is a suitable amount of time for a game. Yeah, that's a, that's especially it. when you don't have much time. Yeah, seriously. Um, but there's a, there, there is a lot to do. The map is big, but not like daunting, massive, and you can get most places by walking. Of course, you can like go into vehicles and whatnot if you really want to, but you don't have to. Um, and it's just really good. It's super colourful and it's beautiful to look at. The story's fun. Uh, the the combat's great and there's just a lot of fun things to do so like outside of the story stuff there's like treasure hunts where you can like go and like loot places but they're like uh, the only way I can sort of the only thing I can compare them to really is uh, the tombs in Tomb Raider the optional tombs oh yeah well, like you, you know, at the end of it, Lara does that same animation where she lifts the thing up and like looks in amazement into this chest, Ooh. and then roots around and somehow pulls out this enormous thing. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then, but um, like it's that kind of challenge. But there's just different things to do, and you get like clues from like a bit of paper, and it's just really, really good. Nice. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Um, I've seen it is on sale at the minute so you know it will be on sale again no doubt about it but uh, definitely get it I think it's the best Far Cry game only because of its uh, short shorter run time and very pleasing aesthetic cool so it's set in the same place as 5 but in my opinion don't need to finish 5 to play it it's a completely separate story cool yeah I'll check it out so definitely do that but that's pretty much about it cool awesome Um, yeah so I made a a list of my backlog of games Uh, right okay want to guess how many games are on there go on 108. 108? <laughs> 108 games on my backlog. Um, I'd just give up. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. <laughs> There's no way you are going to get through 108 games. It's, it's pretty impossible, I know. Uh, but I'm going to try, I mean, maybe. Are you uh, really? No. <laughs> have you got like, have you got them in like an order that you're going to like try and tackle them in? Uh, not at the minute. I'm basically just in alphabetical order at the minute, but I, I would like to put them in some sort of order. Um, would like to hear some? Yes. Right, start on top in alphabetical order. Thought Hack slash GU, Age Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Origins, Axiom Verge, Beast Saber, Bloodstained, Burnout Paradise, uh, Castle Evolution, Castlevania Requiem, Crash 2, Crash 3, Dragon, Dan- Jesus Christ, Danganronpa 2, Danganronpa 3, Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls, mm. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, uh, Dale of Tentacle, Deadly Premonition, Director's Cut, I don't know why, uh, Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3, HD, uh, Divinity Subtitle, I can't remember, uh, DMC, Doom, Dragon Quest Hero, Dragon Quest 11, Dragon Lights, Evil Within 2, Dragon Quest 9, 7, 10, 10, 2, and 12. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition. Festival of the North Star, Grand Tour, um, something I'm finished anyway. Uh, Gravity Rush, Grim Fandango, GTA by City on PS4. Uh, Melee, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D, Birth by Sleep and 3. Uh, Legend of Heroes 2nd Chapter, Leg- Legend of Heroes Trials of Trails of Gold Steel 1 and 2. Mario and Rabbids, uh, Mega Man 11, Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, Metroid Fusion, Metroid Zero Mission, Nino Kuni 1 and 2. 
Neo, No More Heroes on PS3, uh, Octopath Traveler, Odin Sphere, Okami Onimusha on PS4, um, Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, Battle Pond Remastered, Drag uh, Persona 4 Dancing, the Dancing One, uh, Persona 5 again, Black Platinum, Prey, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Recall, uh, which I recently heard someone talk about, like, oh yeah, I have that game. I which thought, one's that? Uh, Xbox One exclusive. Ratchet and uh, Clank? Uh, no, Recall. Oh, Recall, yes, yeah. good. I've got, uh, yeah. um, I've got Recall. Cool. Uh, yeah, I've had this. I had mixed mixed things. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, just play it because it's fun. Don't. <laughs> yeah, just play. It. <laughs> it's good. I like the. It's quite unique in. Uh, in a it, don't get me wrong, uh, Xbox. It's not a, a you know an outstanding must play type game, but it's oh, yeah. it is fun and it looks pretty and the mechanics are really cool. So it's worth looking out for that. Cool. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Rush of Blood, Sekiro, which I don't actually own, but it's a it's a bloody Soulsborne game so I'm going to buy it um, Shadow of the Colossus Shantae Soul Call of the Six Sound Shapes uh, South Park Fractured by Hole Spyro 1, 2 and 3 HD Steins Gate 0 Super Time Force Super Hot Tales uh, of Symphonia 1 and 2 Tales of Exilia 2 uh, The Dallas Principle The American Dream which I'm playing in a minute uh, The Council The Witness Time Ball 2 Twilight Princess HD uh, Virginia Warriors Oroshi 3 Raceland 2 <laughs> Rostox Stocks 2 Wind Waker HD Witcher 3 DLC Tina uh, Blake Chronicles 2 and X uh, Yakuza 0 4, 5, 6 and Kawami <laughs> there's a lot of Yakuza games uh, Ukulele Yoshi's Crafted World which I'm playing in a minute and East Origin on PC you may as well like I just <laughs> Three quarters of them out. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of faff on there, I know. Um Faff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, I want to make a list of uh, literally literally everything just so I can like cross them off and when I'm done with them. Right. Uh, yeah. It's not gonna happen. You. Probably not. I will faint. <laughs> I'm buzzing to come over next week and uh see none of them crossed <laughs> off the list. Yeah. Yeah, none of them. I've got a week off and I'm gonna do this, this and this. None <laughs> of them will be crossed off the list next week. No. Maybe the ones that you're playing at the minute. American Dream will be crossed off. Probably. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of games. Phew, that was, uh, that was a. I can't believe you went through was... them all. Do you want to hear some of them and just reel the whole thing off? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Front to back. Got to be carried away. Um, <laughs> you know the Yakuza games are long, right? It's the longest hell, yeah. That's what she said. Um, yeah. It's... Good. So there we go. That's, 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 that's video games. Yep. What do you think of video game streaming? There seems to be a thing that's uh, sort of coming in now. Oh, yeah. Mm, not for me. I, I, mean... I prefer, like, having and owning the games and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's, what's it called? The Google's, is it Stadia? Stadia? Stadia, some of those, something like that. Also, Apple's announced one now, I think. Yeah, it's only like a like a little one, though. It's like an arcade type thing. Oh, okay, that's I fair. I don't it's know, it doesn't really... I think it's oh, I think it's a cool idea. It's a cool idea, yeah. If, you're if like... you don't own home consoles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you do, then I don't see why you would uh, drop them for that. Yeah. Me too. You're basically um, relying on internet. Yeah, that's my main issue. It's like if your internet dies, then your game's just done. Yeah, like, your games die with it. Yeah, it's like I've I've had like mini issue in here. It's like every now and again, the internet will just cut off for no reason, and I have to re- go restart the, the uh, router to fix it. Like run mid mid playing through a game, like on mid boss fight, and then my internet just dies. Then that's the boss fight over. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go and fix it. I mean, input lag is so important in video games. Oh yeah, that's a huge thing. Um, and that's another thing that could potentially happen i mean i know uh playstation now is already a thing and if you know if you've got good internet it's very it, it works very well it yeah. does but you know there are people that have issues with it because not every area in the world has good internet um it'd be interesting to see if this takes off i've got a feeling xbox are going to announce something very similar at e3 oh, yeah. sure. uh, because of the x cloud thing that they've got going on uh, oh. i don't know man i'm just <laughs> i'm very skeptical yeah i think it's it's cool. I don't think we'll ever replace like proper consoles. Mm. Um, it's a cool thing to have just for like I guess casual gamers and just people who you know don't want to spend crap ton of money on a new box every few years. I mean, it's cool if you've got like a 4K HDR smart TV and this Google thing is going to be part of it. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, great. You know, if you if you want to pay eight quid a month as a casual gamer to stream some of the games that you think look pretty cool from TV strike uh, TV trailers, great. Yeah, but for actual core gamers, uh, for like. I mean, this can't be aimed at people like me and you. No, no it just can't not. be. No, no, definitely not. Um, I, I mean, they showed Assassin's Creed Odyssey as one of the games that they're gonna gonna have. That's cool. So it looks like it is gonna have third party titles. Yeah, I did Doom as well. Was another one that they Doom reboot. Eternal. Yep. So it looks like they're gonna be working with Bethesda and Ubisoft, uh, and th- there will be more that follow. I'm sure EA will jump on this because I think for stuff like FIFA, uh, a lot of casual fans like FIFA. Uh, you know, that'd be ideal. Oh, yeah. Pay eight quid oh, yeah, a month sure. to stream FIFA. Yeah, yeah. Fine. That's, yeah. 
Good Stuff point. like that. I think it's a, a cool idea for casual gamers. Definitely. Uh, because you've not got to plug a console in. Uh, you're not going to have a shitload of wires. All you need is a, a wireless controller in some fashion. Yeah. Uh, probably even your phone. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> As a controller, I don't know. Uh, and then you can sort of stream the game to your TV and then that's that's it. Just go back to watching TV again, I guess. Yeah. But Good. it's not aimed at us. No. I don't think, at least. I think so. So I, what I think is going to happen, because obviously Microsoft are bringing out the uh, the discless Xbox, mm. uh, and I think when they announce their streaming service at E3, which I think is almost a guarantee at this point, yeah. uh, it will sort of integrate into, you know, as a selling point for that discless console until the new version of Xbox comes out. Wouldn't surprise me, yeah. Yeah. Good point. Um, what is it, speaking of controllers, have you seen a controller for the Google Stadia thing? I have, yeah. Garbage. <laughs> it's like a hybrid of, well, it's basically the PlayStation controller, isn't it? Pretty much. But it's like the like the PlayStation controller. You bought like a cheap PlayStation controller. You give yeah. it to like your friend when you're playing <laughs> yeah, two player yeah. games. You're right. It does look cheap. It looks. It looks. Yeah. It looks um like skinny. Yeah. I don't it, like it. No, um, it's off. If you can use a PlayStation controller, that's cool. Yeah, you probably can. You can plug in USB or whatever. If there's a free trial, I'll try it. Yeah. And if it's cool, great. But I won't be paying money for it, especially yeah. if it's just the games that I already have. Yeah, exactly. But just on my TV. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to take my games everywhere with me. I don't want to play games on my phone. I don't need to. No. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's not for us. It's uh, for uh, filthy, filthy casuals. Uh, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty, but, uh, scumbagging casuals. Yeah, stay away from my video games. Yeah. Filthy casuals. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no nude mods on the Google Stadia. <laughs> no, of course not. The nerds will be... Uh, <laughs> they won't be able to fap away on uh, to the Google Stadia, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, or Stadia we don't even know what it's called it's... I didn't watch the press conference so I'm just being ignorant yeah same here uh... <laughs> should we go through um, the, <laughs> the video games in April maybe that's going to be one of the things that they're going to introduce maybe nude mods galore I want to be on it well that'd be great yeah not time for that yeah, uh, Google I mean, Stadia <clears throat> slash Stadia slash we don't know what it's called <laughs> yeah now including nude mods for Resident Evil 2 sweet mm. um, let's go through some gaming news we've got gaming news here oh okay we can talk back quick uh, so Borderlands 3 got announced it did awesome looking trailer Hype. I love Borderlands 1 and 2. This is so good. Yeah, I really like Borderlands. Um, yeah. I'm, I think this is going to be really cool. Like I saw, I mean, I don't know what Polygon's problem is, right? I've, I've just named and shamed there, but <laughs> yeah. uh, it's always the people from Polygon that are moaning about stuff. Oh, yeah? They were like, uh, it just looks like Borderlands 1 and 2. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. That's you? what people it's like. It's set in the fucking wasteland. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. People like Borderlands 1 and 2. What's with it? Well, let's make a completely different game and change it completely. No, yeah. we're going to make the same game as 1 and 2 because that's what people like. Yeah. <laughs> just with some new bits, probably. Yeah. Make, make it look nice. 4K, HDR. Yeah. New loot, new area, new characters. That's what we need. Boom, done. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's exactly it. Yeah. People will be all over it. Absolutely. Also had um, Guns with Legs. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Looks <laughs> good to me. Um, also announced that Borderlands 1 is getting remastered on PS4 and stuff. It's called Game of the Year, isn't it? It's weird. Yeah, yeah, Game of the Year edition. Well, it's like, sure. how old is it now? Nearly 10 years, maybe? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Super old. I've got the original version up there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I love it. So good. That needs to be a cheap game. Oh, yeah, I think it will be. I think it'll be much. Uh, well, I'll be play it, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. Platinum Trophy. I like, I, like, I like Borderlands. I love it. I'll be happy to play it. Me too. So good. Uh, also, Monolith Soft have announced they're working on a new Zelda title. Ooh. Monolith Soft made uh, Gene Lake Chronicles. Uh, okay. Well, JRPGs. Nerds like so me. they're working on a brand new Zelda title? Apparently so, yeah. Which is, if you're like me and fan of uh, Gene Lake and stuff, um, it's super exciting because that's so cool. And Zelda's awesome and silly shit. I do want to play Gene Lake though. Chronicles because it yeah. looks interesting. Yeah, it's very cool. Have you got it on Switch? Is it out on Switch even? Gene uh, Lake Chronicles 2 is on Switch, yes. Oh, okay. Which is, uh, it's not like a direct sequel, it's like a new character and stuff. Oh. Uh, so, you can, so you can go in blind and be fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I love the games. It's such a good, and I look forward to this new Zelda game. Um, because holy shit, <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> that could be awesome. Um, yeah, that's very cool. Uh, A Force Blazers and Plus games have been announced, uh, and they are The Surge and uh, Conan Exiles. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Surge is like, <laughs> it's, I think they uh, The Surge is like a Souls esque type game. Yeah, I did see that actually. Um, which you know, I love the Souls games. Um. I don't think it reviewed that well, but I've seen a few people saying talking about it. Reviews well. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, good point. Everybody hates <laughs> everything. <Finn. laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, but I see some people talking highly, highly of it, so I might give it a try. It's um, free. It's free, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And uh, Conan Exiles is a game that's uh, famous for letting you play as a completely naked character. So we can do yeah, what? yeah, Conan. So, uh, dick and balls just all over that game. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the so only if you like dick game. and balls, <laughs> flopping around while you're running around, <laughs> doing stuff, I guess, then yeah. that's the game for you. Yeah, that's Plus literally... Free, free, free dick. Yeah, free balls. dick. There you go. That's literally the only thing I know about the game. <laughs> I don't know what type of game it is or anything. I just know you can be naked. Uh, I've played it. I was sent it <laughs> ages ago. It, it's not for me. It's like a survival game. Uh, okay. Uh, I can't be asked with keeping Conan's dick warm. <laughs> Same. <laughs> uh, yeah. But if you do want to keep Conan's dick warm, then that is for you. Plus, it's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, free dick. Um, <laughs> uh, so, Persona 5 The Royal announced. No one knows quite what it is. Um, people are assuming it's going to be like a Persona 3 FES with like a like a updated version of Persona 3 which came out on PS2 or Persona 4 The Golden which is like the version of Persona 4 which has updated stuff in it with new characters and stuff so probably going to be like an updated Persona 5 which is fine I maybe guess. for Switch maybe yeah it could make sense because Persona, Persona um, uh, character whose name Joker got announced for Smash yeah. didn't he which and that's the, pretty cool there has been rumours that Persona 5 would hit Switch uh, yeah yeah it wouldn't surprise me at all that'd be uh, great it'd be very cool perfect game with the Switch as well yeah great, uh, it'd be awesome so so good uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, and today, literally today, um, Nintendo announced a new Mario and Sonic at the Olympics game. Yes! Which, yeah, I'm weirdly hyped for. <laughs> for Switch? For Switch, yeah. Which is uh, pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah, um, that's that... I didn't even know that. That's, yeah, uh, that's I, I've come in today. and I've learned something new and I'm yeah. happy about it. It's very cool. Screen shots, those are great shots. Screens look nice and good. And, When's you know, the Olympics? Is it this year? 2020. So we've got to wait until next year for the game? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. Not sure. Probably. I mean, that makes sense, right? Makes sense. Well, at uh, least we're getting one anyway. Yeah. That's good. That's cool. I'm all about that. I'm glad those games are still popular. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, what else happened? Oh, Sony State of Play happened. Oh, it um, did? What did you think to it? It was all right. I think people, some people were disappointed because they're expecting like, these huge like announcements of release dates and things like that, but it's mostly focused on VR, which I find with yeah, me. Yeah, that's fine VR. with me. Yeah. <laughs> some people were well, like, like, bitching online about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. No one plays VR. Yeah, uh, you've, just, you've not got one, and that's why you're saying that, <laughs> yeah. basically. I, basically, I don't know VR, therefore everybody hates VR, and it sucks. That's so. exactly... <laughs> that is the exact attitude that people take. It's pretty much, yeah. Uh, I don't have this, so fuck it. <laughs> yeah, pretty right? much, yeah. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not <laughs> interested in it. Hey, me, 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 me. Yeah, but it looked great. I mean, there's, there's so many cool VR games announced. Very cool. Um, Blood and... What's it called? Uh, Blood and Truth. Yeah, that. Uh, it looks awesome. It is. Very cool. Like, story-driven detective game. Cool. Made very by cool. the same people that did the um, the London Heist in PlayStation ah, VR Worlds. That's cool. I didn't know so that. So, if you've played that, it's the same company, which is the same studio that brought us The Getaway back in the day. Oh yeah. That's a good game. Um, yeah, The Getaway's awesome. Can so we good. get a remaster of that? Yeah, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yes, please. Um, cool. So, that was that. Uh, Iron Man VR got announced. Oh, yeah. That'd be uh, cool. Very, very cool. It looks like an on-the-rail shooter. Is that... Pretty much what it is. I mean, I Maybe. didn't really explain a lot. Yeah, the trailer was very basic. Uh, just basically just announcing it, saying, this is coming. Play it, please. Play it, please. Um, so to be honest, yeah. as, soon as, I, as soon as I heard the words Iron Man VR, I was like, okay, I'll yeah. buy this. Yeah, it makes sense because you'd be fly around and you'd be Iron Man and it'd be typical. Yeah, and, imagine uh, putting like the VR headset on like Iron Man puts the helmet on. Yeah, that'd be very cool. That's cool. That's cool already. Yeah. Um, you know, Marvel's been pretty good lately. We've got recently, uh, we had the new uh, Spider Man game, which is amazing. Yep. Um, so if this is the same sort of quality as that, then that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Excited for that. Uh, also announced Concrete Genie, which looks very cool. That does look cool. I don't think that very was announced. Cool. That's been announced a while ago. Was it? Oh, okay. But uh, they just showed more of it. Oh, okay, oh, that's fair. And yeah, that's pretty cool. It just looked cool. Yeah. Very artsy and farty and good. Artsy farty. <laughs> yes. There you go. That's the official review. Yeah, the official uh, review. Artsy farty, but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, showed up more of uh, Days Gone, which still looks cool. Into that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, it's growing on me. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't really interested at all. Because uh, I'm, I'm over zombies, I am. Yeah, that's fair. Because it's been done to death. Yeah, seriously. And there's a World War Z game coming out as well. Oh, is there? Oh, God. So I'm for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, um, that film is so old as well now. Like, well, I say so old. It's like a good few years. Yeah, yeah. Um, zombie hordes are going to be on that. And zombie hordes are going to be on this. I mean, um, cool. But what is sort of exciting about this is the fact that it is... Um, and a Sony exclusive, a PlayStation cool. exclusive, should I say? Um, so you know you're almost guaranteed quality. Yeah, yeah. And I it think that really well. is uh, what is very enticing about it. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. I don't know if I'll buy it day one. I might wait for the sale and stuff, and see how it reviews and stuff. Well, um, you buy it on days gone. Uh, I'll get up and leave now. That's uh, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks cool. I'm intrigued. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wait until I see more. For sure. Um, I don't think you can see much more. That's, that's a good point, actually, yeah. 
<laughs> motorbikes and zombies and guns. This is, this is, yeah. To be honest, the combat looks really cool. Yeah, it does. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also showed off more Crash Team Racing re- remaster, which looks amazing. It's no, it's not as good as Mario Kart, just FYI. But them, them, um, them, them fighting words. Yeah, it's, Gr- it's Grass, not. Crash Team Racing back in the day was was my Mario Kart basically. I did it with N64, but I did it with PlayStation, and I had Crash Team Racing, and it was amazing. Uh, it is good. <laughs> I played it since. Obviously, you put it I, cl- along with your face on my PlayStation Classic. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I did do that. Yeah, and. Welcome. Uh, yeah, cheers. And I played it and I was like, this is really good and I don't want to tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a dick and we'll live off it forever. <laughs> I, I love Gratchin Racing. I'm playing, I'm playing this day one, for sure. Baton Trophy is mine. Um, <laughs> so yeah, still looks good. Still amazing. Um, and yeah, still, it does look super pretty, to be honest. It so looks pretty. really, really good. Yeah, definitely. And they also showed off uh, more Mortal Kombat, more, yeah, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, which looks, also looks amazing. Yeah, so good. That is Mortal day one, Kombat. to be honest for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Cool. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So, April is coming up. And in April, there'll be more games. Um, more games to add to Finn's never-ending backlog. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> that's, this is why your backlog will never be cleared. Yeah, because I keep... That reason. Yeah, I'm going to try and buy less new games, because I didn't buy Sekiro, even though I really, 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 really want it. I, right. <laughs> I'm gonna put my, I, next week, when I come here for the podcast... What have you been playing this week, Finn? Sekiro. I've been playing. I've been playing Sekiro. It's really, really good. It's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably. Uh, right. So. Definitely. <laughs> get <Probably>. to April. Second <laughs> of April, we've got uh, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid on PS4. Oh, when's this out? Second uh, of April. So Second next week. Days. Yeah. Tuesday. Not, that's coming out on actually everything, isn't it? Xbox, uh, PlayStation, and Switch. Uh, according to this, only this a P- only list as PS4. Are you that, that reading it off GameSpot or something? <laughs> reading it off Wikipedia. Wikipedia? Yes. It's coming out on everything, I'm sure. I'm sure you, of it. You're probably right, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Well, Wikipedia have a list of game releases now? Apparently so. Wikipedia has everything. Come on now. It's Wikipedia. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I remember once I changed um, like the Live Aid thing Oh yeah. Um, to me being a part of it. Ah, nice. I was there for a good while as well. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, on the 9th of April, we have uh, the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy, which is pretty cool, on the, on PC, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. I did see this on the Xbox store yesterday. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's weird because it's like a DS game originally. But yeah. But a Bandit Fogo DS game, so cool. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard positive things about it, and it, yeah, it yeah. looks fun, but I, it's not for me, I don't think. That's fair. Um, we've got Shovel Knight Showdown, which is weird. It's apparently it's like a uh, uh, Smash, but with Shovel Knight characters and like 2D and stuff. Really? Yeah, sort of, I think. I think that's what it is. It looks decent enough, I guess. Sure. It's coming out on literally everything, including the Wii U, question mark? Really? Weird. <laughs> and <laughs> Linux. Surely they're not still bringing games out for the Wii U. I, I don't know. I guess they are. How strange. Um, and also a game called Zanki Zero, Last Beginning. Coming I, out I can't piece- wait for that. It's going to be so good. It's so good. Come I out don't on- know what it is. No, I mean, it came out on PC and PS4. Sure. It's a role-playing dungeon call, apparently. They'll probably put nude mods on the PC version for all <laughs> you sweaties out there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, 11th... I love you really, guys. We do. Oh, yeah. You're the best. Uh, on the 11th, we've got, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, for some reason, a new Earth Defense Force coming out. Why? Got Earth Defense Force Iron Rain on PS4. Who the fuck are playing these games? Who knows? <laughs> Jesus. It was, the Red was really popular on Xbox 360. I think it's just because it had an easy... Xbox 360? Yeah, yeah. But I think I think it was only because it had like, an easy achievement list. Was the main reason people oh, bought it. Go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this must it's just, it's, to be popular. This probably going to have to have a, a really easy platinum trophy. <laughs> this is probably yeah. Uh, on the twelfth of April, uh, Nintendo Labo Nintendo Labo Toy Con Four VR kit. Interesting. Yeah, I've seen this. Um, I, I mean, I don't know how much it's going to be. This cardboard stuff, like, it seems pretty expensive yeah, for cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they're attempting VR in some fashion. Yeah. Do you just like slightly switch into it or something? Yeah, that's how it works. All right, okay. Weird. I'll give it a try. Maybe it was cheap. It won't be. It won't, it won't be. be cheap. It's so Nintendo. Won't try it. Nothing's <laughs> cheap. Nothing comes down in price, <laughs> and nothing's cheap. Fair. Zelda is still fifty-five quid. Really? Wow. Bloody hell. I mean, it's a good game. It's worth it. But bloody hell. Yeah, but it <laughs> came out two years ago or however long. <laughs> True. Uh, what else we got? We got Anno eighteen hundred on Windows. Sorry. Anno eighteen hundred. It's like a PC city building sim. On Windows. On PC, yeah. Um. I played Anno 2020, I think, it's, I think it is, which is pretty cool. I think it's 2020. Come on, it is. I don't the, know. The Fugitive one, which I guess wouldn't be 2020, that's like next year. Uh, sure. Yeah, they probably have <laughs> flying cars and stuff, and <laughs> like, people like 
who are actually robots. <laughs> probably. Uh, 2020, like, we probably still won't have left the EU. Yeah. So. <laughs> the distant future. Ooh. Uh, it's funny like how the future was depicted in like films and games and stuff yeah yeah the year 2019 and like it's like a dystopian <laughs> like sort of dingy like it's dark no matter what time of day it is <laughs> yeah and like everything's like got like neon lights and people wear trench coats and shit it's like fucking no, it's, Blade Runner yeah like flying robots are flying past past in yeah yeah that's it yeah, like, <laughs> flying cars like everyone who works in Starbucks is a robot <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Oh Everyone's dog is metal for some reason. There's no like actual dogs anymore. <laughs> yeah. Apart from dog like, like one mangy dog that runs around the street. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, the future. The future. Uh, I wonder when that future will actually be. Never. Yeah, never, probably. Uh, so, uh, same day, it was 16th. Uh, Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 HD Remaster come out on uh, Switch and Xbox One. Jesus Christ. Nice. These games, right? <laughs> don't get me wrong, I've got a lot of respect for Final Fantasy. I do. Oh, yeah. But those games, I feel like they've just been released on everything and every one of them has been remastered in some fashion pretty much it's only 8 on modern consoles though give us 8 this uh, square no they please. hate 8 Thank you. Yeah, they I clearly I hate why. 8 it's so good I love it <laughs> give these us games will be remastered <laughs> again and again and a third time again before we see <laughs> the news that Final Fantasy 7 Remake has been cancelled oh god no not 7 Remake please it's, not, <laughs> it's never going to happen it's coming out I promise nope I swear nope please nope square please nope oh. <laughs> um but yeah, that's going to do PC and Xbox One, because that's cool. It's like Final 10 and 10 2, which you should, because it's awesome. Um, yeah. World War Z, same day. Yes, so big That's PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Um, Konami Arcade Classics comes out on everything on the 13th. Oh, yeah, I got a press release about that, actually. Oh, yeah? Um, it had a load of games that I'd never heard of. Fair. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, yeah, yeah so that's um, cool, like old school Konami games. Yeah, they're bringing, um, they're bringing actually quite a few of those out because they're bringing uh, like a Castlevania collection out and oh, uh, cool. of like all the Castlevania games uh, all, all together. It's coming out of Switch and all sorts of stuff. So that could be cool. uh, Konami are basically just throwing their back catalogue out there. Fair enough. I'm okay with that. Uh, they've got Cuphead coming out on the Switch on the 18th of April. Speaking of Cuphead, nice t-shirt. <laughs> That's awesome. Cuphead, cool so, so, so good. Yeah, I love it. Uh, 23rd, we've got Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen on Switch, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then same day, Mortal Kombat 11 on everything. Yes. Which is awesome. Yes. Yes. Uh, 25th, we've got a game called uh, Imperator Rome. Imperator? Imperator? PC game. Yeah. Who knows? New mods. New mods everywhere. Like just Romans walking around with their dicks out and stuff. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's like Conan Exiles. Roman yeah. Exiles. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, a game called Steamworld Quest Hand of Gilgamesh on Switch. Uh, God, that sounds nerdy as shit. Pretty much. I've heard of the Steamworld games. They've been around a while. Um, just a new one of those. So, cool, I guess. Oh, wait. It's like so it's like Steamworld Dig? Yeah, there you go. Oh, so is it one of them? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's okay, then, because they're quite cool. Cool. Awesome. I take it back. <laughs> Sorry, nerds. <laughs> uh, it's like, like nerds, like we're not. Yeah, yeah. Like massive nerds. Like we're not doing a podcast <laughs> right now. Exactly, yeah. Like nerds. Uh, same we're day. Cool nerds. Yep. Yeah, cool nerds. We, they, we tell ourselves they, that. They exist. To make us feel <laughs> way better. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> same day on the Switch, a game called Umehawa Kawaji Fresh. Fresh? Fresh? Exclamation mark. One of my personal favourite series, uh, this one. It's clearly, yeah. Um, no idea what it is. I don't know why I can't pronounce it. So. It's an action game, really. Sure. sure. Just action. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a game called Box Boy and Box Girl on Switch. Same day. Uh, Days Gone, 26th of April. That'd cool, be cool. Yep. Uh, PS4. Does that say there's Mortal Kombat? Uh, no, Mortal Kombat was 23rd, Days Gone 26. They're close. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be the same day. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, also 26, Super, 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 ah. <laughs> Super Meat Boy Forever. Holy shit. That's coming out on literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it on phones and stuff. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yep. Uh, Super Meat Boy, if you don't know what it is, it's difficult. Super Meat Boy. It's um, good, though. It's really, really good. I, I've got the I've got it on Xbox because it's like the 360 one. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it's cool. Yeah, I played, it, I played that game to death, literally. It's so, so good. And I'm putting on play this one to death. And it's going to drive me insane because it's impossible. But. Yeah, me and Denzel like, played <laughs> loads of that one, just one weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Denzel was like down here and we were just playing it for some reason. But it's <laughs> super addictive and it's great. Oh, yeah. It's really, really good. So, so good. Um, yeah, well, speaking of Final Fantasy, on the 30th, Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age, comes out on Switch and Xbox. Oh, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm and sure it's good. It's so good. Uh, and then a game called uh, U Boat on PC. U Boat? Which, which is a submarine simulator, apparently. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, that's it. That's April of games. Oh, dear. Oh, God. 
<laughs> I, just, I just don't get it. I don't get the obsession with like these <laughs> these ludicrous simulator games. Yeah, it's bizarre. Train simulator. How boring is that going to be? Yeah. Look out the window and see trees. Choo choo. Yeah. <laughs> choo choo. Do <laughs> a VR version. Just do that in real life. No. Yeah. Yeah, you have got like, your move controller in your hand. And go choo choo. Oh wow, the train did the steam and shit. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Video games. God almighty. Yeah. Somebody's going to go out and buy a U-boat simulator because like, they're so excited about it. Uh, God, can't imagine. It's going to have the worst front cover of all time. <laughs> it's just, it's just me, submarine. <laughs> yeah, with like the same writing that Farming Simulator has, but 19 next to it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's, that's video games. Yeah, sure. The real mixed bag in April. It's really, really still is. big hitters in there, Mortal Kombat, Days Gone. Oh, yeah. There's um, a big one, sure. Every single Keep Final Fantasy well. ever made, released on Switch. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. that. Let's do wrestling. Yeah, let's the, talk about wrestling. The other part oh, of the I'm, I'm exhausted from video games. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I'm just, I can't out. believe you both simulate is a real thing. I know. I can't believe I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. You're, you're going to see me next week. I'm not going to be wearing a, like, a, a, like a Cuphead t shirt. I'll be wearing a U boat simulator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll be super late to do it. Like, I can't believe U boat. It's so good. Yeah, it's so good. I can't believe I slated it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, well, it's back that one happened. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was. A three-hour show that should have been a one-hour show because pretty much nothing happened the entire show. Nothing happened on Raw for the last couple of weeks, I don't think. Really. Yeah, it's weird. And like Batista spat all over the microphone. <laughs> Give me what I was. I like the Triple H like took the piss out of him <laughs> yeah, this week on Raw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah I don't I could... know why he spat so much. It's so I, it, weird. He it's, never used to do that. It's so weird, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like Big Dave's like sort of heel character though. I think he's better as a heel. Yeah, I like him. Um, I was sure like a Batista, like a remix of Batista, like to the Birdie song. It was like smashing against Rey Mysterio, shouting "You're supposed to be my friend," but in the tune of the Birdie song, <laughs> "You're supposed to be my friend." You're supposed to be my friend. <laughs> it's on my Twitter page. If you want to have a look? That's <laughs> how we treated it. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> The internet uh, is amazing. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Though, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some nerds on the internet that play U-Boat Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, the internet is great. Yeah, it's so good. Ah, uh, boy. So, well... <laughs> 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 I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Um, so, yeah. we we'll start off uh, with the Beat the Clock, I mean, Clock Challenge. Um, <laughs> Which was so pointless. Like, usually the Beat the Clock matches, like, they have a they have an end game. Yeah, yeah. This was for, well, you've won the Beat the Clock. Congratulations. Yeah, it's yeah. Good job. Well, there's guess. usually something on the line, right? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, the winner of the beat the clock challenge is going to go on and do something later on in the night or compete for a championship. This is literally they've the won the beat is, the clock challenge. Yeah, the winner will be the beat the clock challenge wins the beat the clock challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, honest, they're never going to talk about it again either. Oh, winner of the uh, the beat the clock challenge that randomly happened in the third week of March 2019. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never going to be mentioned again. <laughs> exactly. So weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, Becky won because of course he did. And I'm sure. Poor Riot Squad. I know, right? They're buried. Oh, it sucks. Because they're, yeah. so, they're so good. They, they are good, yeah. I really like them. It's yeah, just a too. shame that they were put in this match basically to be fed to the three women in the main event at WrestleMania. Yeah, it's a shame. Yep. Oh, well. Um, so we had uh, Finn Balor beating up Bobby Lashley and Jinder Mahal to uh, get a title shot at Mania for the IT title. Yep, great. What you want? Um, Women Jenny Mahal with WWE champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it does feel like a distant memory ago now, yeah. but um, yeah, I vaguely remember it. It's weird, isn't it? Poor Jinder. I'm sick of this uh, Finn Balor and Lashley thing now. Yeah, it's been going on a while, hasn't it? It's been I'm just tired of them giving it away, and then we're going to see it on WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the only thing that's going to sort of redeem it at WrestleMania is the fact that we're going to see the Demon and Finn Balor will win. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but then I don't want to see this match again. Yeah, it's uh, done I want to see Lashley bugging off to SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's been good dragging out for way too long because he Finn already beat like Lashley and um, Leo Rush once, and then he had another guest against Lashley and Leo Rush, and then yeah, it's been gone on forever. And yeah, I'm bored of it now. I like the way the commentary made out like Jinder isn't just uh, <laughs> a nothing like entity on Raw now. Yeah, seriously. How is Finn Balor gonna beat a team of <laughs> Lashley and Jinder Mahal? Damn my god, well, quite easily actually. Just yeah. uh, go and watch. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. Um, Another thing about these matches on Raw recently, I mean, like really, really short. It's like you have three hours to fill. Just make them longer. They can yeah. <laughs> give it some of the ads, maybe, and just make the matches de- a decent length and just enjoyable. make the show shorter. Yeah, seriously. Bizarre. I mean, I get you need the you want the money from advertising or whatever, 
but the show sucks. Yeah. It is nothing. It's a nothing show at the minute. Yeah. We're building up to the biggest wrestling show of the year. Yeah. Uh, on the biggest weekend for wrestling all over the world. Yeah. And yet, like these matches are in place, and we're like, okay, the matches are fine. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's that's, just, we, it's fine. I mean, and... we'll be so excited next Sunday when WrestleMania is finally oh, here. Yeah, of course. I mean, we'll be tired at, like, at Five, seven one. in the morning when yeah. it finishes. Oh, God. Or whatever. But <laughs> yeah. it's just, I don't know, man. It's... <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like, yeah. SmackDown have done a really good job of building their matches. Just, yeah, just SmackDown's so, right. I mean, they, they, we wanted Kofi to be in the main event at WrestleMania or fight for the title. We've got it. Yeah. And awesome. we've we've gone through hell and back to get there, but we got there. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, that's happening and we're all happy. Yep. Seth Rollins is fighting Brock Lesnar and it's like, well, Seth Rollins hasn't wrestled on Raw for ages because he's been injured. Yeah. Brock Lesnar doesn't appear on Raw because Brock Lesnar. <laughs> and so why are we supposed to care for this match? Yeah. It's no wonder the women are in the main event because there is no way on earth that Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins can be the closing show of WrestleMania. Yeah, because nobody cares at this point. No, nobody cares at this point. <laughs> yeah. You've got the winner of the Raw Rumble versus the champion, which traditionally is the main event at WrestleMania. Yeah. But they neither have done anything of any sort of worth on... Raw the last well since the Raw Rumble yeah. to warrant it it's like, I'd forgotten that they won the Royal Rumble they yeah, exactly. didn't mention it it's like, <laughs> but yeah. instead we've got the actual winner of the women's Raw Rumble Becky fighting in a triple threat match uh, where the Raw and Smackdown women's championships are on the line in the weirdest concoction yeah. of match ever yeah bizarre but cool at the same time I don't like it um, I think it'd be cool if both belts were on the line at hmm. once and then the winner unified the belts and like the women's tag team titles they were fought over both brands yeah, because the there isn't a strong enough women's division on SmackDown to warrant them having a belt. Yeah, it's a bit weird. I've always tried with Asuka out of all this. Exactly. Like, yeah. Asuka would be the champion forever if Charlotte <laughs> wasn't there. Yeah. And the fact that Charlotte's champion now makes you think that maybe she's going to win, but then surely Becky's going to win because she's like, like the main... Uh, if Becky know, doesn't weird. win and we've waited till seven in the morning <laughs> to for Charlotte to win, yeah. um, I'm going to burn my own house down. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> with all of us in it. Yeah. So, well, it's been a good run. <laughs> fire crackles in the background so yeah fair enough yeah <laughs> um, so yes so uh, after that uh, Drew McIntyre got a promo on Reigns Reigns came down beat him up and then Drew McIntyre kicked him in balls and kicked him in the face and that was that yep at one point I'm, I'm glad uh, Drew McIntyre's in a match at Mania against Roman Reigns that's cool and I'm glad Roman Reigns came back and beat him and all that stuff um, but again nothing really on the line in this match like nothing really matters Roman Reigns will <laughs> win oh, of course because yeah. Reigns. obviously but yeah. um I mean, yeah, I mean, to be honest, it, this whole build has made... This is one of the ones that has actually mattered, like, build-wise, because yeah. it's made Drew look like an absolute monster. Yeah, Not that he all. really needed it, but he has he has made him look like a, a a true heel, and there isn't many of them. That's good. Yeah, that's good that Drew McIntyre's getting a push, because he definitely deserves it. It's yeah, amazing. for sure. And there's no way that Roman Reigns is losing a singles match at WrestleMania. Of course not. No way. <laughs> uh, but um, this, this whole build has made Drew look like a beast, and the match will make Drew look like a beast as well. And to be honest, I quite like these matches. Like, yeah. I like AJ Styles versus Randy Orton as well because, yeah. um, I mean, that I, I think that will be a great match. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, no one cared about Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins a few years ago mm. and then it gave us that incredible moment that, you know, ma- really made that match. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. The, okay. With the like the RKO from the curb stomp. That was so and then, cool. of course, it led to Seth winning later on in the night, so Seth losing didn't really matter. Yeah, but, um, good booking. I think this match could be really, really good and I think AJ Styles versus Randy Orton will be really good even yeah. though nothing is on the line. That point, um, yeah. And I'm fine with those matches. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. That's that's a very good point. And uh, yeah, it'd be a good match, I'm sure. Um, I'm very happy that for Drew McIntyre that he gets a match at Mania. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we had uh, uh, the women's tag team thing, which uh, uh, Shasha and Natalia doing a thing. They got interrupted by Nia and Tamina. Uh, Beth Phoenix was there. I skipped it. I think. Sorry. The, the, <laughs> I, the, I have a problem with this, right? Because I mean, I, I don't have a problem with the fatal four-way that's been made for WrestleMania. Hmm. What I have a problem with is um, the Iconics not turning up on Raw. Oh, uh, yeah. That's because good. don't talk about them and put them in the match, but not have them interacting in the build. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, all three of those teams, like, they're, they're Raw teams. Yeah, yeah. So you've got one team from SmackDown. You know, if you're going to have Becky and Charlotte crossing brands here and there and everywhere, have the Iconics turn up as well. It's WrestleMania season. It really doesn't matter what happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, to be honest... Uh, as all four of the women's tag team titles as I as I have been, um, they've they've been dealt with very poorly. Yeah, yeah, the booking's been pretty terrible. Oh, it's um, been awful. Yeah, they've been made like they've just been made to be sort of ornaments uh, on the 
on on the waist of Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, pretty much. It's a shame. They mean nothing at the minute. Yeah, seriously. Pointless. Um, so yeah, that's that. And uh, then we had uh, a moment of bliss with Braun Strowman and two unfunny people I never heard of. Uh, yeah, um, the <laughs> obsession of putting American celebrities uh, to push WrestleMania, WrestleMania is uh, brain dead to me because it's bizarre. Um, are they going to draw in people from overseas to watch WrestleMania? Yeah. No, because no, no one's ever that. heard of them. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, they get us in that said That'd be better. Us, us versus Braun, we can take them. Yeah, I mean, I'll be in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal and won't win. Of course, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, if they want two unfunny people, <laughs> we're here. Yeah, we're right here, WWE, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> they can have us live from satellite from Finn's little house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Hi, yeah. guys, how you doing? Yeah, we're fine. We're going to win the, Roar, the Battle Royal, probably. Yeah, easy. Um, so yeah, that was that was the thing. That's next year's WrestleMania. Yeah, FYI. Sorry. Uh, is it right? Yep. <laughs> so Baron Corbin beating the Apollo Crews. Yeah, that was fine. In a nothing match again. Yeah, poor Apollo. Poor Corbin. But you can't have Baron Corbin lose if he's going to fight Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. Yeah, what do you think? What do you make of that, by the way? Uh, I don't mind it, to be honest. I'd rather it be Baron Corbin and help it advance him hmm. than it be some some part-timer um, in a match that means absolutely nothing. Yeah, part of me thinks it's all going to be some sort of work and we're going to have the match at Mania and it will get interrupted by someone else and have them wrestle Kurt instead but I don't know I, like, like, like you I don't mind Baron Corbin at all I no, like I Baron Corbin's character honest, um, I'd like it to end up being Baron Corbin I don't want it to be John Cena mm. um, that match means nothing to me um, I appreciate the history between the two of them uh, but I quite like it to advance somebody new Makes sense. and not just be a throwaway like Undertaker John Cena last year meant absolute fuck all yeah, pretty much. literally nothing because Cena got squashed yep uh, and yep. it just made Cena look stupid. <laughs> and we've barely seen him since in any sort of real meaningful capacity. But uh, with Baron Corbin, um, you know, this this could be his big moment. I mean, I don't think Kurt Angle is capable of putting a good match on these days. Yeah. I mean, Raw proved that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that nasty... Oh, it was awful. He basically did a forward roll. Yeah, yeah. He basically did a forward roll in a suplex. Yeah, I think I think Kurt was always going for DDC, and so was thinking suplex, and then just turned into that. Yeah, and it was awful. Roll. Yeah, yeah, it looked nice uh, as well. And Kurt Angle <laughs> can barely move. I know. I mean, it was rare. It was a decent match, but again, it's way too short. And I think it was short because Kurt probably can't go that long. Yeah, and it's a real shame. And I, and don't get me wrong, I think Kurt Angle deserves his um, sort of last hurrah. Oh yeah, and I'm almost certain. I mean, these matches mean nothing. Like these wins and losses, they don't mean anything no. uh, during this Kurt farewell tour. Um, so, you know, these people won't mind losing to Kurt Angle. Yeah. It doesn't hurt Samoa Joe. doesn't hurt AJ Styles or whoever else he's beaten along the way. No. Uh, to be honest, I would actually quite like to see Baron Corbin beat him at WrestleMania. I'd be, I'd be okay with that, uh, honestly. It, it the would, internet wouldn't be, but I'd be okay with it. Yeah, and it'd be <laughs> awesome because the internet would hate it. But yeah. um, it would make Baron Corbin... It would give Baron Corbin a platform going forward. If, Kurt, if this is Kurt Angle's last like last match, which it will be, oh, yeah. probably, um, <laughs> like Baron Corbin has got that forever. Like Brock Lesnar lived on beating the Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. Oh yeah, Baron Corbin can beat Kurt Angle in his last match, and that can be his platform, his vehicle going forward. Yes, and it uh, right. I think that would be sure. perfect for him because Baron Corbin's good yeah. and he plays a very good heel. Yeah, and I think that would be really, really smart booking. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'd be okay with that, for sure. Uh, so we had uh, Triple H uh, in the ring, uh, fighting an envelope. Uh, envelope wins. Yep. Um, <laughs> I like that Triple H said he was doing the job for the envelope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like this sort of carefree Triple H. Yeah, it's all right, yeah. I like him. Um, and then, uh, so basically, the way it boiled down to Triple H putting his England career on the line against Batista Romania, which is fine. It probably means Batista's going to win. You think, um, you think Triple H is done? I don't know. Triple H loves a WrestleMania entrance. That's a good point. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think it's, it's done. Triple H is in. Because BT's just going to bug off again after this, isn't he? So, I would have thought so. Yeah. I think he enjoys like coming back and spitting all over the microphone <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I like this carefree Triple H. Um, I like that he's sort of bringing real stuff into things. Like when he called <laughs> the security guards the guardians of the independence scene <laughs> oh, yeah. last week that really made me laugh. I mean, I think people on the internet, some of them were like a little bit pissed about it, but I thought it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, it was over there. And uh, he was a bit more carefree as well this week and I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I quite like uh, this sort of carefree Triple H. I mean, that could mean that he is done. Maybe. Triple H gets a WrestleMania send-off. Um, mm. Whether you could do that for Kurt Angle and Triple H, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, I think you're right. Triple H did win. Um, 
Yeah, he's got some. He's got some more few more years left in him, I think. For sure. The no holds barred stipulation was much needed too. I oh mean, yeah. I mean, these two in a normal wrestling match, no interest mm-hmm. in that at all. Yeah. Not but at yeah. this point in both their careers. Before, like you know, ten years ago, that's fine. Oh, sure. But no, they need no holds barred now. Yeah. Bring on this sledgehammer. Yeah, I want to see them beat the crap out of each other. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be cool. Um, so the main event was, of course, uh, Dean Ambrose versus Drew McIntyre, and a decent, but again, too short match. The yeah. Last man standing. Um, but yeah, why, should, why so short? It's, that could have been awesome, really awesome um, end end of the night match. Yeah, but it was just really short. This is weird. Um, other than that, it was a decent match. Um, what does Dean do for WrestleMania? Do you think? What's he got going on? I don't think he's been in an answer match yet, has he? I don't know. Yeah, Barney thinks. Um, he's going to interfere in the match with Roman and McIntyre and perhaps turn heel on Roman and then Dean and uh, Roman will feud going forward well obviously Dean is leaving in April well, supposedly yeah I don't think he is I don't think he is either I no. still don't think it is even no. Just Incredible said it was a work <laughs> yeah it's got he to thought be right. it was a work yeah yeah um, I think Dean Ambrose is sticking around there's no way he's in the main event of Raw and featuring so prominently on TV if he's out the door WWE do not operate that way exactly just look at bloody Gals and Anderson on Smackdown this week Jesus yeah. Christ <laughs> I mean WWE doesn't operate that way and they never have and I don't think they ever will uh, all you need to do is go back and look through history of people that are leaving they are not on TV exactly yeah um, so yeah as, as my as my prediction it's going to turn heel um, during, again yeah again we turn heel <laughs> uh, on Roman Reigns and that'd be a feud hey Keyboards. build a monster faction with Dean Ambrose and Drew McIntyre and some other people oh yeah that'd be cool mm. I'd be okay with that well into it absolutely um, so yeah McIntyre won that match uh, by putting Dean to the table and then hitting with a claymore which is why it isn't because it's got Mastermania um, so yeah it's cool and again it's just nothing but build uh, Drew McIntyre as an absolute monster yeah absolutely Dean Ambrose will always be fairly popular yep alright so there's, I don't think these losses hurt uh, Dean Ambrose, yeah, because exactly. it's basically what they're basically putting his body on the line and you know getting beat by the person who's fighting his mate at WrestleMania or whatever. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that was Raw. Um, mm, kind of kind of a B minus, I'd say for Raw this week. That's generous, I think. Yeah, maybe like a C C plus, B minus, something like that. C minus. Yeah. Um, it was fine. Match should have been longer. Nothing really important that happened, and uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's SmackDown. SmackDown was better, in my opinion. SmackDown was better. There's definitely some twists and turns. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> so yeah, SmackDown, New Day were in the ring. Uh, on Abbey, trying to quit and stuff because Kofi, Kofi Kingston not being a mania, yep. etc. Um, call out Vince McMahon, who answers when they get interrupted by Danny Ryan. Uh, call to Kofi a B-plus player. Oh, snap. Oh. oh. And then uh, Vince says, if Xavier Woods and Biggie can win a tag team gauntlet match, then Kofi gets his shot at Mania. For real, this time. No more gauntlet matches, please, though, after this. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> at least retire it for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so that's cool. Um, so, we had uh, Charlotte versus Asuka for the SmackDown Women's title. Ha! Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, as if Charlotte's going to win the, yeah. this tank, the title of WrestleMania. Why Come would they have now. that match when they're having a Fatal 4 way to determine the number one contender? Why? Yeah, you know, I know. They would, they're definitely not going to change the championship. Nah, that's ridiculous. Nah, oh. stupid. Oh, wait. Did you actually won. What? what? <laughs> Say what? Yeah, so back to the crowd was like, what? Because <laughs> like no one expected that. To be fair, no one expected that, and that's nobody saw it coming. And it's like that's pretty. It's a pretty cool moment. I thought. Uh, yeah, it, sure. As well as it is, it's a cool moment. Um. So yeah, as I said earlier, I think this might mean Charlotte's gonna win at Mania. No. Because like then she have both belts. She'd be like, yeah, I am the, the belt, belt, both belt champion. I still think both belts will end up being on the line at once. Maybe. Maybe when it takes all. Could that, be. That, that's the better angle to go with. I think. I think. I think so. Yeah. But uh, Charlotte might win. I don't know. No. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't want my house to burn down. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Uh, but then what does Asuka do now, Mania? Is he going to be throwing Nothing. those shitty oh, battle royals? the Andre the Giant. Oh, no, sorry, not the Andre the Giant <laughs> battle royal. The, the, uh, the fabulous Moolah battle royal that's not the fabulous Moolah battle royal because fabulous Moolah was apparently a piece of shit. Battle oh, right, okay. Fair enough. Um, so it's just the women's battle royal because they can't think of anyone else. Yeah. So that sucks. Go for Asuka. Um, yeah. She probably won't win that either. Probably not. Oh well. Um, <laughs> so then we had uh, Kurt Angle again versus AJ Styles uh, until Orton came in to ruin it with an RKA yep. AJ. And then Ang- Angle hit like a shit looking Ang- Angle slam to Randy after the match. Because Kurt Angle can't move. Yeah, that was weird. Um, and it's pretty pointless, really. Uh, <laughs> it's Kurt Angle farewell tour, though. Pretty much. Next week, going to fight Eric Young or someone. <laughs> yeah. Because he yeah. fought him in TNA or something. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, I was joking I don't know if that's actually that's not going to be a match sure probably not uh, so we had uh, The Miz saying stuff which honestly I skipped Face Miz is weird I don't like it I don't like it either uh, Shane came down with a bunch of bodyguards and 
Primo Cologne and Shelton Benjamin and Sanity. Okay. Yeah, that's weird as well. <laughs> sure. Oh, there's Sanity. Found them. There they are. Yeah. Oh, there's Primo <laughs> Cologne. <laughs> yeah, he's still got a job. He's still employed. Yeah, apparently so. Um, also, Eric Young's bold now. Who knew? Who? Eric Young. He's bold now. I thought he already was bold. Was he? Oh, I can't remember. That's, that's, long, that's how long it's been since Eugene Sanity. I that's can't fair, yeah. like. He's had four announcements. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't care about this dude. I've just, I've I, I like heel Shane. I've got no problem with that because he's better as a heel than always has been. Fair. Um, he doesn't seem to uh, like fumble his words as much when he's a, a heel. Yeah. I haven't noticed. I'll skip it, to be honest. That's I'll, fair. <laughs> I don't like Face Miz, so. Face Miz is bizarre. I don't like it. It's just like Miz presenting to be John Cena. It's, it's like, it's so weird. Uh, so yeah, so we had the uh, New Day Gauntlet match and it was good. Um, B Gullis and Anderson in like seconds, which is dumb. They're off. Yeah, they're, they're off. They're off the way Yeah. And you wonder why. Matches like this, I wonder why. Yeah, I mean, they've, been booked, they've been used terribly. <laughs> yeah, it's garbage. So so much potential. Yeah, no, they could have been awesome. They've been so good. But no. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so we had Risa with Nakamura. Uh, they actually look a lot better, um, getting them some decent moves and stuff. Um, just fine. Uh, knew they win, obviously. Um, they had the bar come down, which is good. Uh, another good little um, back and forth. Uh, so they ended up winning with Wall of Cesaro. And then after the match, Biggie got slammed to the table. Oh, snap. And then Usos came down, but then, out of respect, forfeit. Respect and stuff. Sure. Sure. Um, as they a result of this, uh, the Usos' punishment will be fighting all of those other teams at WrestleMania oh. and defending their SmackDown tag team titles. That'd be cool. I'll go That'll be what happens, too. Mm. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's cool. Uh, backstage, Brian and Rowan aren't happy. The beat up some furniture. Rip. <laughs> um, and then they're the last team. Brian and Rowan uh, are the last tag team debates um, Rowan goes through the iron claw thingy through the announce table Biggie counters throws Rowan over the table and buries him under it and they win via count out so cool. Kofi is going to Russian Mania good nice correct good, good choice uh, I hope he wins yes and then all of the faces came down to the ring and to support Kevin Owens and... just super stoked for this by the way <laughs> yeah, like like smacking so. the apron and just in so much excitement <laughs> yeah yeah uh, I'm and, uh, happy though um, yeah, Kofi's been uh, you know uh, a a constant professional throughout his entire WWE career. Oh yeah. Um, I do think eventually this actually um, leads to Kofi retiring. Mm, maybe. Uh, I think he wins the belt. Big E turns. Oh. Uh, wins the belt himself. Becomes a monster heel. Mm. Uh, Kofi retires. New Day split up. Ooh, nice. I like it. I think that's what happens. I like it. I like. Kofi it. did say that he was done when the New Day are done, and I think this year the New Day are done. Wins by me. They've been going a long time. Yeah. But I know, WWE. There was a lot of profit in him. And WWE there like is, money. but um, <laughs> I think WWE are really high on Big E, uh, right. and I do think that's what we eventually we eventually see Big E as the WWE champion. Cool, I'll be okay with that. That'd be cool. Me too. Cool, good stuff. And uh, that is this week in wrestling. There you go. So uh, next week, yeah, I'm it. <laughs> uh, so next week will be NXT Takeover New York predictions, and of course WrestleMania predictions. Yeah, uh, which is exciting, very and excited. it's come around very quickly. Yes, it has. Flown by. Yeah, it really has. Um, but for the meantime. This has been episode 91 of the Games and Grouse podcast. We are a video game and wrestling podcast that posts pretty much every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And TurnbuckleTV.com and YouTube.com forward slash Games Grouse. Yes. Thank you very much for listening, watching, or however else you somehow discovered this podcast. I'm yes. Sonny. I'm Finn. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Davis.